listen, we need your help. It's what it is. And look, we, we plan for this. We had some savings and some stuff on the side. Of course. A hundred percent. But we need support to make this last long longer. Point is that like right now, we need your help. Point is that like right now, we need your help. Is Fresh and Fit finally going broke? They finally went on a stream and begged to their audience that they need people to sign in on Castle Club and sign up for a membership for $17. Now Myron claims that that money is going towards Rumble to help support them in the fight for free speech. Now that may be true, it just seems all too convenient now that after they've been demonetized, and after a year of just giving out free content, now they kind of hit a rough spot and it's not looking good. Listen, we need your help. It's what it is. And look, we, we plan for this. We had some savings and some stuff on the side. Of course. A hundred percent. But we need support to make this last long longer. Yeah. And as well be up front right now. Because look, I didn't think guys, if we get canceled off of YouTube, marketing is finished. We got to focus on other things, ways to market, maybe run uh -huh. some ads, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the point is that like right now, we need your help. Yeah. And 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 also guys, keep in mind cuz like some some people have like misconstrued when I said this. When I said I'm fine, I got my real estate whatever, I'm talking about myself. I can He's saying that he's talking about himself when he means by he's fine. But again, he's not fine if the platform is losing all of this money. We all knew once they got demonetized, it meant trouble. And now they're going to have to go and set up a subscription base and see how that works for them. Walk away from this and be fine. I can absolutely stop podcasting today and be fine, right, financially, because I've, I've built myself up to a place where I get a good amount of recurring revenue passively. I don't have to work another day in my life, right? And that was from Smart Investments and Social, which I've shared with you guys before, right? How to invest in real estate, etc. But to run a podcast, to run a business, requires money. Capital. Okay? It requires money to pay employees to keep to keep things going to keep things on to keep equipment um uh, obviously maintained to get new equipment when needed to host shows etc so running a podcast right like we're doing now at a very high level versus me being able to take care of myself are two different things i can't believe that i even have to explain this that people weren't able to distinguish between the two but they're two different things so if we're going to continue to run the pod right at the level that we're running it, getting you guys big guests, traveling, um, you know, um, doing because uh, because we want to do more collabs where like you know you guys see us on other platforms, etc. You guys love me on Jubilee, yeah. Um, you guys enjoy the the um, busting the pedos with Vitaly and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna do more of that. We're gonna be branching out, right? Um, but for for us to be able to run the way that we do, guys, it requires money. It does. And um, like I said before, Rumble supported us, so now we're just paying back the favor, man. The money's getting tight. The money's getting tight. He might be good, but your show, the platform that you worked how many years for is going to be gone. So technically you're not fine. And now, hey, you're going to need your supporters to help fund that situation that you got going on. It's unfortunate. It really is. Um, you know, at the end of the day, as content creators, you're going to need the support from people who really enjoy your content. And so I get it especially in the situation that they're in, whatever money that they can gather, it will help tremendously. Hopefully they can find out a way to keep this thing going where they're not going to lean on their fans too much. Look, you're gonna have to take a sacrifice, maybe dip into your real estate, start selling some things to help keep your business afloat. Even fresh, you might have to sell a few of your cars, keep the business afloat. And the good part is now, especially like what we're doing now with the actual Castle Club, where we bring people to us in Miami, to yeah. studio sessions as well. Oh, yeah, person. yeah, yeah. we're going to have y'all, we're going to so oh, we're we're be doing giveaways too. We're going to pick some winners from the OG members of Castle Club and some new members as well to fly them into Miami in studio to watch shows live. Yeah. That's huge. Guys, the thing now is that obviously we were so focused on like, you know, just giving y'all free content, free content, free content, whatever, or whatever it may be. Now... We're still going to focus on giving y'all free content, but Castle Club is going to be the home base where if you guys want to interact with us, etc. Castle Club is going to be where we host our Zoom calls. If you want to do consultations, uh, when we host events, whether it's a boat party, whatever it may be, we're going to put the message out there on Castle Club yeah. first, right? They're going to get first right away with everything. Our when we free do meetups, meet all that stuff. Our, all that's going to be on Castle Club. 
By the way, if you're a brokey in the chat, I'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support. That's understandable. What I will say, though, is like when you see the value in the Castle Club, you're like, damn, you know what? Yeah. I need to be a part of that. But and, again, you know, and if you fine. can't afford it, it's fine. If you can't afford it, that's fine, bro. No one is forcing y'all to join. Like, yeah. I want to make that very clear, too. If you don't have the money or even you don't want to join, that's totally cool. You can still watch the stuff for free. It's fine. Yeah. Like, I'm, we're not going to sit here and be angry. you be like, oh, what the fuck? You didn't join. No, no, no. That's fine, bro. But uh, my only issue is like when you're a hater about it, like, oh, y'all, this is a money grab, blah, blah, blah. Right now, they're just trying to sell the product. They're, you know, they're, they're claiming that they're not calling people brokies for not wanting to get the subscription, but they're selling the product. They're trying to say this is the value that we offer. And um, as they already know, times is hard out here. You know, people barely are getting by. You know, again, a lot of their viewers are brokies. <laughs> a lot of their viewers don't have as much money as they do. So they're starting to feel the pressure a little bit. And so now they're going to have to beg the brokies to get money to keep them afloat and to technically keep Rumble afloat. No, this it's is so that we can continue to keep do doing what we're doing. Guys, I want y'all to name another podcast that got demonetized that still that went for a year, giving you guys free content. We went for another year with, with like no nothing. Like We didn't ask for Yeah. We we're just like, yo, we didn't sell no courses. We brought DMs on the man back here and there whenever you guys asked for people, it. People want it, by the way. Yeah, we only bring courses out when you guys ask for it, by the way. Yeah. We, we, we Literally, after like 50 people ask, oh, I want DMs on the man, blah, 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 mm -hmm. we'll bring it out, we'll do a short little thing. But guys, when people say we're money grabbers, I'm like, in my head, like, what are you talking about? Like, we've given out so much free content, 2,000 plus videos, man. Actually, like, just to add to your point, we passed up on so many deals for companies, even gambling deals. We're like, bro, yeah. we would have been like Aiden Ross set, bro. But but then again, principle wise, it doesn't match with our content or the or the you know the fans. If it was a supporters. money grab, like we would be out here telling y'all to gamble. We'd yeah. be out here advertising alcohol to y'all. We'd be um we'd be um like doing uh, pushing a bunch of degenerate boys on you guys. And we don't, man. We don't like for the kind Actually, of they call us stupid. All yeah. the creators are, bro. You should charge. Us. And we're like. Nah, you know, we're making it work, but eventually at some point you have to. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, and this this is what it is. To be fair, I must say, I do respect them for coming clean and asking their viewers for help. I mean, it takes a lot of balls, so to speak, to just be honest and say, hey, look, guys, we're in trouble. We need the help. We need you guys. We need our viewers to gather together and get this done. We need you guys to keep our platform alive. We need you guys to keep this thing going. Without you guys, the train stops right here. And so they probably checked all their books. They check their finances and say, hey, look, we did it for free for another year, but we can't afford to do it for another second year. We need to tell our viewers, hey, we're in trouble. And so, hey, I respect them for just admitting and being transparent and saying, hey, we need the help. Hopefully, in the next few years, they might transform to a different content where it's a little bit more inclusive. But hey, we'll see how it turns out. Either which way, I'll keep an eye on this story and I'll see what happens with this whole situation. It's not looking good though. Um, if they can't get the amount of members that they need to keep their business afloat, then they might actually be gone for good. You know, yeah. It's unfortunate, but anyways, it's your boy. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you with another one. Peace.